artist of the year, you know, like I said, it's kind of go along with my my musical listens as well, albums. I got to go with the Nas, man. You know, he 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 brought a lot. He he brought a lot, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> these these last two to three albums have been like some of his best work. Yeah. And I've heard more people talking about Nas now than probably in a long time. You know what I'm saying? Like Hit Boy really kind of put him in the limelight and kind of brought him back with those beats and just that music and solid projects. Like he put out two super solid projects. Like I said, it came the last one came in the fourth quarter, I think last year. And then he came with another one this year. So it kind of blended, made it feel like it was all this year. But I just feel like the way his yeah. music circulated this year, I don't think it ever really circulated like it has, you know, cause people are like, man, now I'm still doing music. And then now you hear him, you hear his music, hear people talk about him on podcasts. Like I say, a lot of, a lot of different podcasts and different things like that for him to still be, 20 something plus yeah. years in the game and still kind of be relevant and still having music put out like that, I think that's pretty dope. And then, of course, this is probably consensus. Everybody right. probably, you know, I go back that Drake, man, Drake just put out, you know, he's been active. You know, he's been active on features, he's been active on albums, whether you like the album or you didn't like the album, but he just been, he's been super active this year. You know what I'm saying? He came with the Her Loss and then he dropped the, the Nevermind and then the one before that was certified. So it's all like, a, a trilogy. I felt like those albums were like a trilogy almost. It's like uh, Certified Lover Boy, Nevermind, and then Her Loss. And it just felt like a trilogy. And I just felt like he was super active. He he got, he went crazy on that Jack mm-hmm. Hollow, that Jack mm-hmm. Hollow um, joint. <laughs> I forget the name of the song. Yeah, Church Here Down, bro. Church he just he down, murdered Jack on that joint, bro. Like, almost like, almost a, a verse of the year could almost, bro. He like, he <laughs> featured, bro, he, he murdered Jack on that joint, bro. Like, hey, listen, so funny that you bring him up. I did not bring him up, but for a hottest artist and album, hey, Jack, hey, Jack, hey, that's, he, hey, I told, he was he, hey, that he was fighting his way year. in I there. I brought up the Jack album. He's like, oh man, I ain't really listening. I'm like, man, but Jack, you know, what I'm saying? I think the the previous album was better than his last album because I felt like he's trying to be more. You felt like the last one. You felt uh-uh. like this last one was better. <laughs> oh no, no, no. Yeah, the, the, first like the first one was great. The first one was good. It was really, really good. I feel like that one. It was ain't touching the second. I felt like it was a little yeah. low in the beginning of the album of this one. It was like a little bit low, and then it kind of picked up more, more midway to the end, like you know. But the first one, it was just like the first one. It just like it okay. flow all the way through. But this one, it was like the first three or four, five tracks. Yeah. It was kind of real low, and then he kind of got in. He kind of got into it when the um, it was that Lupita, Lupita. I forget the name of the track. I got I got to like check. I got to check him up. I got to check him out because up, I remember, man, this had to be. So I think about the last five years ago, I no, remember he no, was. No, no, uh, no. That's right. Because you know I follow a lot of engineers, like music engineers and producers too. But uh, Enos K Y Enos, out of um, two chains engineer, right? And then um, I remember I, I was following because he always mixing two chain stuff and two chains being in the studio. But he's okay. he. I remember him posting mm-hmm. at now Jack Harlow, but always just white dude was in the studio. He was like, man, he's next up. He's next up. And I was, you know, it was like. Hey, it was do, and he turned out to be Jack Harlow. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yo, I remember listening to Jack Harlow back in twenty. Is mm, either twenty seventeen okay. or twenty eighteen? Yeah. Um, Drama brought him on oh, yeah. to Sway in the Morning mm-hmm. for him to do a cipher. He did the Five Fingers of Death there, yeah. And he killed it. He killed it. Yeah, he, yeah, yeah. Um, it, it was dope. It was dope. But um, yep. yeah, he's been around for a minute, and he's been yeah, he was in that Uzi really shadow. Well. I think that was a problem. You know he was, so, he was, they, you know, Kadrum got Uzi, so he was kind of like in, he was kind of like an Uzi shadow, but he had to find his find his lane. I think he kind of found mm-hmm. his lane, and then he kind of started making music, and then yeah. he put that put that Drake feature on there, and Drake just went crazy on that church here down on him, just went crazy. Like, like I think Drake probably <laughs> Drake probably got. Three extra minutes on that joint than than Jack did. You know what I'm saying? Like he just like he just like like you know how sometimes <laughs> did, you know how Drake do, did, do Ross he, he like did. Ross get like thirty he get like forty five oh, seconds yeah, on the yeah. track, couple balls, and then Drake come by like on that what was that um, Gold Roses? I think yeah yeah, yeah like, Gold Roses, yeah. Gold Roses, Lemon Pepper. Oh no, oh yeah, like Lemon, Pe- Lemon Pepper. Lemon Pepper. Or too. it may have been both. He'll do that to Ross. He'll he'll let Ross do like. You know, a minute, and then he'll come back. He'll do <laughs> yeah. like four minutes behind Ross. Yeah. Like, like why you do Ross? Like, I bet Ross. Like, why you do me like that, bro? Don't put four minutes yeah. behind me. He did the same thing. And hey, one Jack thing I want to like say about Nas, though, back, I know y'all go minutes right behind Nas. Jack and I feel like Nas is like, like the only so. one, but you know, from so our era, like, right? When we was young, <laughs> that's still doing music, and it's like high level music. You know, I know, you know, it always the debate of 
you know, rapper being old, right? And it's a young man's game. And then you have Jay-Z come out saying, why is it okay for rock and roll artists to still be doing this at 50 plus, right? And now you, but you, we have Nas to where I'm like, man, I remember Nas, we was kids. Not, and he's still putting out music. And it's like, and, it, and, it's, and it's not music yep. that, you know what I mean? Like some older art. Now, there is older artists doing music, but I feel like they try to cater to the young crowd a lot. And it's like, Nas is like, nah. Yes, but Nas is still speaking to us, you know? Right, yeah. right. He's speaking to us. He's speaking. He's speaking to us. He's speaking to his. He's speaking to his generation. He's speaking to well, his generation. I yeah. think he's speaking to his generation. I think that's a good thing. Yeah, I think though. I, I do think he didn't get his flowers early on. To be honest with you, mm-hmm. I mean, just because. I mean, man, like I was explaining to you guys earlier, like man, Nas has been a dope MC forever, but man, um, after the maybe <laughs> I Am album. Like a lot of his music just felt like you know yeah. he was pulling out a you know yep. a dictionary. Let me see if I can wrap around and, his word. You know what I'm saying, or you know, yeah, or an that, that, you know, or something yeah, or right. some sort, some book just going yeah. through it. Yeah, and just you know, and, and people just like man. And then right, the he, production right. wasn't that the great. Beat, it was just charging. you know you just trying to listen to what he's beat, saying yeah. over a horrible beat. And it's just like, man, can't, um, I can't vibe to this. Like, I can't vibe it was to this. Just, like, I can't vibe to this. Weird. You know what I'm saying? You know, we know his music ain't club yeah. club music, but you still want to be able to listen to it in the car and vibe to it. And it's just like, it's too New York. That's what I'm saying. That's how it be. It's just like, it's too, too New York. Like, if that makes sense. You know what I'm saying? Like, some of those artists be like, too, like, at first, I wasn't like the biggest Griselda fan, but then because it was like, so it was like New York. And then I had to like, okay, let me just man, take, the, take, it off, Benny, take it down a notch. Let me just listen to it a little bit more. And I start listening to Benny and I start listening to those guys. I'm like, okay, I can get I can get with it. You know, so I can get to it. Like I can get I can get with it. Cause you know what I'm saying? They got the bars and then the beats a little bit. You know, sometimes they might d- drop a a, a, a down south beat it, a beat in there, you know what I'm saying, where you kind of relate to it. But man, sometimes Yo, that stuff was Yo, just B? like Nas was just yeah, that B? New York. I'm like, bro, I can't get with this. <laughs> so mm-hmm. no, I'm with you. I'm with you one hundred percent on that. Yeah, man. <laughs> so, man, that wrap up uh, uh, a good, solid, hot artist of the year. We're going to 